cash, a necessary resource in any sort of business venture. Gaining cash in large amounts is easier said than done. However, what if there was a way to simply find some? Welcome to Interesting History, and today we are going to go over the death and lost stash of Dutch Schultz. Let's begin. In 1919, something crazy happened. Prohibition was made law, turning the alcohol business upside down. Seeing an opening with lots of potential gain, mobsters and gangsters started illegally manufacturing and distributing liquor in bulk. It was a very profitable business decision, as it made the more powerful names millions. Names like Al Capone, Bugs Moran, Lucky Luciano, and Dutch Schultz. Born in 1902, Dutch Schultz started his crime life at an incredibly young age, gaining sensational power when he and Joey Note partnered, gaining instant infamy for his ruthless aggression. A history of violence and murder were attached to Dutch, and to say the law was after him would be putting it lightly. One man in particular, U.S. Attorney Thomas Dewey, seemingly had his number, and on multiple occasions tried to bring the mobster to justice, much to the anger of Schultz. If the stories ring true, Dutch had his mind set on killing Dewey, but killing such a high-profile figure didn't sit well with the rest of the mob, who all were against it, making Dutch furious. Something needed to happen to prevent Dewey from getting hit, and something happened indeed. At 10.15 p.m. local time on October 23, 1935, Dutch and three of his men were shot at the Palace Chop House in New Jersey by two professional hitmen in Murder Incorporated. Schultz himself survived the initial shot and slipped a medic 10 grand to see that he received the best treatment. But even with that, he was dead 22 hours later with the intentionally rust-coated bullet doing its job. A short time before the events of October 23rd, Dutch and his bodyguard were fearing incarceration due to the grief put on them from Thomas Dewey. The two commissioned a special safe that they filled with $7 million and drove to an unknown, undisclosed location in upstate New York where it was buried. The only two people to ever know of the location of the safe were killed in the Murder Incorporated hit, so the location truly remains a mystery as on his deathbed, the mumblings of Schultz gave nothing conclusive. Dutch Schultz's last words were transcribed and some believe contain clues to where his treasure lies, but with statements like, a boy has never wept, nor dashed a thousand kim, it's hard to tell what meaning, if any, they have. Dutch died at just 33 years old and took this great mystery with him. Maybe one day, however, the lost stash will resurface. We just don't know. But thank you for watching, and thanks for the overflowing support of the channel. Do you have a suggestion? Let me know. I'm in the process of compiling all of them, and it helps a ton. Thanks again, and have a good night.